Hey guys, I just got back from doing um, my swimming bathers and doing my morning routine. Usually, I'm really like energetic, so I usually will read a book. And why not just read, read a Lady and the Tramp? I'm just gonna read it to you guys. I don't know why I made a YouTube video, I'm just bored. Merry Christmas, darling, said Jim Deere as he handed his wife a pink striped box inside with a little brown puppy. Darling took one look at the puppy and decided to call her Lady. Lady was happy in her new home. She slept in the same room as Jim, Jim Deer and Darling. She roamed. She roamed in the garden and kept watch over the house. You can pause if you still want to look. When Lady was older, Jim Deer and Darling gave her a collar with her name tag. Lady proudly showed her collar to her friends, Jock and Trusty. She's a full grown, she's a full grown lady, said Jock. Said Jack Jock. I think that's, so that's Jock and that's Dusty. Dusty's cute, Jock is big. Tramp was another Tramp was another dog who sometimes in the neighborhood. Who was sometimes in the neighborhood. He didn't have a warm home and family like he liked to wander the streets looking for scraps and helping his friends escape from the dog catcher. Five, four, three, two, one. You can pause. Tramp overheard Jock and Trusty telling Lady that Jim Deer and Darling were expecting a baby. What's a baby? Lady asked. A home wrecker. That's what, said Tramp. Lady's happy life was about to change. I'll tell you who your grandma is. So that's Lady. Right? That's Lady. That's Tramp. Sorry. That's Lady, that's Tramp, that's Jock, and that's Trusty. When we, one rainy April day, the baby came. Jim D and Darling were thrilled with the new little, ba little boy. Lady liked the baby too. That's Lady, that is... That's Darling, her name's Darling. That's Lady, and that's Jim. There's a little baby in the baby crib. Jim Deer and Darling decided to take a trip. Aunt Sarah came to look after the baby. Her two cats came, two aunt, two. Aunt Sarah was very, not a very nice lady. That's Aunt Sarah and that's the two cats. They look mad. Madly insane. Her two cats were not very nice either. They made a mess of the house and pretended that lady caused the trouble. Oh, that wicked animal, said Aunt Sarah. Is it this way? No. Try and read so you guys still can see the page when I read. It's just going to be hard for me, but I'll do anything for you guys. Okay. Aunt Sarah took Lady straight to the pet store. I want a good strong muzzle, Aunt Sarah said. 
The muzzle scared a lady. She jumped off the counter and ran out of the door. There's the lady running. She ran and ran. Soon some big mean dogs started to chase after her. Lady was scared. Luckily, Champ heard all the barking and rice to Lady's rescue. Okay, sorry, it's really hard for me. Oh, poor kid, said Champ, looking at Lady's muzzle. We've got to get this thing off. Come on, Champ. Lady to Tramp took Lady to the zoo. Maybe one of the animals could help Lady. It's off, Lady said with a relief. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. The apes, the alligator, and the hyena were not at help, help at all. Then Lady and Tramp found the beaver. He loved to chew soon, chew and soon, but bit right through the muzzle. It's off, Lady said with a relief. The beaver was happy too. He could use the muzzle as a handy dandy rug puller. Tramp took Lady to dinner at Tony's restaurant. Tramp's friend Tony liked Lady and fed the pair his special, special, specialty spaghetti with meatballs. Ooh! Tramp and Lady accidentally ate the same spaghetti strand. Next thing they knew, they were kissing. Lady and Tramp were falling in love. Look at that. The happy pair walked to the top of the hill. They gazed up at the full moon that shone over their town. It was such a beautiful night. The next morning, on the way home, Tramp and Lady passed the chicken coop. Ever chased chickens, Tramp asked. He couldn't resist. Lady did not like the idea, but she followed him anyway. The chickens ran around the yard squawking and squealing. Hey, what's going on in there, the farmer called. Lady and the tramp ran away as fast as they could, but tramp soon discovered that Lady wasn't behind him. She had run into the dog catcher and was taken to the dog pound. Lady was scared to be at the dog pound, but soon the dog catcher came for her. Reading the collar, he knew where to take her. You're too nice a girl to be in this place, he said and returned the lady to Aunt Sarah. Look at that little man. At home, Aunt Sarah chained the lady to the kennel. Was Lady was so sad, and Jock, Jock and Shafty could not cheer her up. Tramp arrived. Lady was angry with him, so she thought Tramp had only looked out for himself and had to let her get caught by the dog catcher. The 
shoes as well. He tried to explain. I saw you were right behind me. He, to be on, behind me. Honest, he said. Goodbye and take this with you. He said, returning the bone tramp had brought for her. It's a bone, guys. Sorry. Creeping into the baby's room, she could not. She couldn't chase it because of the chain. She could only bark. Stop that, Aunt Sarah called. Hush! But Tramp heard and rushed back to Lady. That's Lady trying to bark because that stupid rat is in. But Aunt Sarah didn't know. Asked a rat in the baby's room, lady replied. Tramp ran into the house and found the rat. He had to catch that rat before it hurt the baby. Here's the rat and the baby. Wait, sorry, I have to hold it with my feet for this part. I fell. Meanwhile, Lady was barking. Meanwhile, I'm just going to go to sleep. Still singing. Meanwhile, Lady was barking with all her might and pulling on the heavy chain. At least, at least, at last. The chain broke free from the kennel. Lady ran inside to help. Tramp. Tramp chased the rat under the baby's cot and accidentally knocked it over. The baby started to cry, but Lady was happy because the baby was safe. Tramp had finally caught the rat. That's the end. Bye, guys.